Parkinson's can make me more miserable in attitude and spirit than anything I've ever known. But when it isn't active, I completely forget I have anything wrong with me. So when you have Parkinson's disease, you need to find a source of inner determination. That determination, in my view, is critical to surviving. We have to live now, and you have to enjoy every moment of now while you are still living. Just, it really took the 2 by 4 of Parkinson's for me to realize that things happen, that sometimes you can't do anything about them. Oh, sometimes it's hard to remain standing when you have no sense of balance, and I often have to lay on the floor to put on my pants. But I couldn't move my legs, so for three months I was immobilized at home and thought, pretty much thought life was over. I had to get going, had to get moving. I really wanted to learn to cycle. Running was still very, very difficult for me. And the very strange thing about cycling is I'd be unable to keep myself upright, lunging from door to wall and wall to side of the doorway. I'd get on the bike and I'd just ride off as if there was no balance problem at all. So stubborn, so tenacious. Like, if I tell her she can't do it, she will do it tenfold. Communication is an essential part of being human. As Parkinson slowly robs me of my voice and even my smile, I feel as if my soul is being sucked out of me. I will never again take any normally functioning part of my body for granted. But the important thing is to get out there and exercise. And when I say out there, it doesn't have to be outside of your living room. It doesn't it can be in your bed. You need to pull your knees up to your chest and stretch out your hip flexors. You need to practice your balance. You need to walk. Beautiful. So the act of exercise generates endorphins. Endorphins, like adrenaline, I think, are a neurotransmitter, which helps your, your, your mind actually control your body. The more I exercise, the better I feel. The better I feel, the more I exercise. It's a self-perpetuating philosophy. Sometimes it's hard to get that initial energy and urge to get out and do it. And that's when you need friends and family and people around you to do it with you, to encourage you, to inspire you. She's got a good sense of humor. She always makes me laugh. I think that's the most important thing. She helps me never take myself too seriously. So last summer I rode about four or five hundred miles. So I thought, what are you going to do next year? So the next thing that was bigger and better was something called Ride the Rockies. They ride 60 to 70 miles a day, every day for seven days. I've never done anything like this. That's fun. That's a good downhill. This, ouch, the Royal Gorge you'll love. So I'm approaching Ride the Rockies pretty much the way I'm approaching life, but I'm not going into it telling myself that I have to do it. When you have Parkinson's, you can't beat yourself up all the time. Do the best that you can, and people around you who really love you and support you will understand that. I'm very proud of you taking your medicine. <laughs> mm. But I will be riding the 513 miles of the Ride the Rockies this summer, really for all, all the people in the, who can't do the ride themselves. I'd really like to ride it for them. Please do something for yourself. Get up and exercise. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether or not you have Parkinson's. Exercise is the best thing that we can all do for ourselves.